Hello, welcome to Dan Multiskills. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to create a system restore. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell icon to turn on notifications for future uploads. Let me explain what is system restore and why it can be quite useful. System restore is a Microsoft Windows tool designed to protect and repair the computer software. System restore takes a snapshot of some of the system files and Windows registry and saves them as a restore point. For example, when an install, like an install failure or data corruption occurs, System Restore can return the system to working conditions without you having to reinstall the operating system. It repairs the Windows environment by reverting back to the files and settings that were saved in the restore point. So it's always recommended to have uh, to create a system restore once every week. If you are a heavily gamer, if you are uh, if you have lots of imp important data on the machine, create system restore, rename it before you apply any updates or once every month because you never know what can go wrong when Windows is trying to update itself in the background and you're probably running into problems. That means you will have to reset the PC or it may not work or you will have to reinstall Windows just to be on the safe side just recreate a system restore it's highly recommended in order to create a system restore please follow this guide click on start and then just type system just type system and then it gives you the uh, the option or you can just type create a system create a restore point select it now you probably get the an option here if you go to the system protection uh, make sure you uh, click configure and then turn this on turn the protection on if it's not on already otherwise it wouldn't allow you to create a system restore so now once you've, you've, you've turned the protection on click create and then you can just rename it for example you can let's say if you want to update your windows uh, you can just type before the update for example before the update and all you have to do is just click create it doesn't take too long depends how many uh, like it shouldn't really take too long uh, once it's created it will create a system restore point then I will show you on how to uh, restore it just in case if you're running into a problem so this is done and then in the next uh, part I'll show you on how to uh, uh, do a system restore now let's say if your system running into problems and then you will get a screen like this for example it says windows automatic repair within the windows automatic automatic repair you will have a number of options so if you just go to troubleshoot and then advanced options within the advanced option you will have uh, system restore if you click on that once you clicked on the, the system restore and then you will get the options to see which one if you just click your username if you have a password you may have to type the password just select it and then you can uh, continue now click next as you can see, this is when I've created the system restore before the update. All you have to do is click next and just click finish. Click yes. That's what it does. Basically, it will uh, revert your system back to before the updates were applied. So this can be quite useful. I would highly recommend to always have a system restore. Uh, to create it once every month you can delete the previous ones for example you don't necessarily have to have a number of system restore you can delete the others and just to keep the up-to-date ones uh, in this way you, you will avoid reinstalling windows or resetting your pc, PC. once it's done you will get a uh, pop-up message like that it says system restore uh, completed successfully all you have to do is just click restart and you're good to go if you have any issues or face any issues, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I will respond to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching.